thought I heard you up. I couldn't sleep. I had a horrible nightmare. Oh, well, tell it to me. I'm awful good at interpreting dreams. I was a contestant on the dating game, and I won. I went around the corner to meet the bachelor who picked me, and it was the Pope. Boy, that is a tough one. Oh. Uh, where'd you go on the date? Oh, forget it, forget it. Good night, Blanche. Rose, what are you doing out? I thought you were asleep. I went out to get provisions. I figured we'd be up all night talking. Uh, I'm going to bed. She doesn't feel like talking. But I got chocolate macadamia nut cheesecake and run raisin ice cream. Oh, all right. Start cutting, you scoop. Ah, oh, that's my girl. So, did you decide what you're going to do? No. Oh. My luck, the first really wonderful guy I've met in a long time, and he turns out to have a more serious involvement. With whom? Pam Dauber. <laughs> the church. Or at least he did until he met me. You know, you take the religious aspect out of this, and it's really quite romantic. A man giving up everything for the woman he loves, kind of like the story of the Duke and Duchess of Windsor. Or the story of Rose and Charlie Nyland. <laughs> You know, when I think of one, I automatically think of the other. When Charlie and I started dating, I got the feeling that his folks didn't like me. That's when I decided to get to the bottom of things, and I found out about the ancient feud between the Nylans and the Gerklechnerbeigens. <laughs> that was my mother's maiden name. Gerklechnerbeigen? Originally, it was Gerklechnerbeigen Hofstetlerfrau. <laughs> But they shortened it, because most of my mother's family were in show business. <laughs> anyway, when Charlie told them that we were going to get married, they forbade it. They said they'd disown him if he married a Kirk Gleckner by him. Right. <laughs> and he'd lose his share of the family tiled grout fortune. <laughs> he didn't care. He told them he loved me more than grout. <laughs> Must have been a tough choice for old Charlie. I thought I heard voices. Now I see that only two of them are God-fearing. Ma, will you get off my back? I feel bad enough. You? What about me? 81 years I've eaten fish on Friday, even when the Pope told me I didn't have to. I got a mass. I light candles. I say novenas. And for what? So we could all be flushed down the toilet because my daughter insists on going out with Father Happy Pants. <laughs> Ma, oh, you're not making it any easier. Look, Dorothy, in the end, only you can decide what's right for you. And whatever decision it is, I'll stand by it. Thanks, Ma. Just remember, make the wrong decision, you'll burn in hell forever. <laughs> Sleep tight, pussycat. <laughs>